Welcome to Study by Yourself. This is Sir Prince. Congratulations for finding this video on how to pass your BEC. Now, in this video, I'm not going to tell you to learn how to make a timetable or learn for two hours every day. Those are things you have heard over and over again from your teachers, from your peers, and from your parents. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you the best tips to help you pass your BEC. Now, BEC means Basic Education Certificate Exams. Now, it is basic. Basic means it is easy. I'm going to show you easy way to pass the BECE. BEC is based on what you have learned from um, when you started school till your, the end of your JHS3 period. Now if you are struggling with any subject or as you're going to write your BEC, you are struggling with learning, this is the best video for you. The basic education certificate exam is basic. Basic means necessary, essential or fundamental. Now you need the BECE if you are in West Africa, you want to enter the senior high school. You need for your senior high school and then continue continuing. Now, if you're able to pass your BEC very well or you take whatever you are learning before the BEC series, but the same thing you're going to be building up on, or you're going to be building up in your senior high and then continuing to the tertiary education. Now later on in this video, I'm going to give you a tip which is going to help you stand out among your peers so that you get your preferred senior high school. I'm also going to show you how to handle social media and friends so that you don't get distracted in this world where it's easier to have a smartphone, a laptop or a device which is going to take your attention from your books. So with my first point, start with the basics. Look at your basics. Give much attention to your basics. Look how you started learning from the upper primary from the lower primary and then perfect them the multiplication the division the addition and then the subtraction give attention to them because if you don't know the basics there is no way you are going to know the more complicated ones when you ignore the basics which are necessary essential or important you begin to complicate or make things difficult for yourself anytime you complain about anything being challenging or difficult go back to where you began to complain now, if you are learning any new thing, the most important part or the part you're supposed to give so much attention to is the introduction. Once your interest is sparked at the introduction, there is no way you are not going to understand whatever you are learning. Imagine when you went to class and then your child began teaching a particular topic when you were not there at the initial stage. It was quite difficult to understand. But when you got a friend or a teacher to guide you, to explain to you the intro, everything becomes easier. So my point is this, the most important part of anything you want to learn is the introduction. Whether you are in um, the junior high school or senior high school or any level of education where you find yourself. Once you get the motivation at the beginning, you definitely have done most of the work which is supposed to be done. The basics for spelling words are the alphabet. The, big, the basics for doing any mathematical calculations are knowing the mathematical operations very well. That is your addition, your subtraction, your multiplication, your division. When you want to understand the life of any organism, go to the cell. That is the basic fundamental unit of life. If you want to do calculations in science, go to the basic or fundamental unit. The temperature, the electric current, the mass and the length. The basics looks like it's for kids. So no one might, you don't see the reason why you are supposed to go back to them. But that is where the magic happens. Most students who complain about maths in GHS have issues with long division and mostly multiplication. That is from the five time table to the nine time table. So these are the things you are supposed to give so much attention to. And what, what you might not know at this level is that once you master or get the BC, when you get to SHS, you don't, you don't struggle. Because what you do in SHS, you just add certain topics to whatever you learned at the junior high school and then you are good to go. Now my second point is, ask questions. Ask lots of questions. Maybe there was a time where you asked a question in class and then your teacher got irritated because the question was not significant. But you know, asking the right questions can actually show that you are really interested in the subject matter. When you ask the right questions in class, your teacher will say things you or she didn't plan to see. When you have a good question and then you keep it to yourself, you are preventing yourself and others from getting the vital information. Asking questions is an opportunity for you to open yourself to new information, even though you are in GHS. 
One question might lead to another, and then you would have accumulated lots of knowledge. The only danger of asking questions is asking a stupid one. And the only way to know a question is stupid is when you ask. So keep asking questions so that you will be able to find out questions which are relevant and then questions which are not relevant. This will make you stand out as a student. Okay, so I mentioned to you previously in the video that I'm going to show you how to handle distractions. Now, whether you are aware or not, the main source of distraction is social media. Once you're on a smart device, you have access to information, you are somehow or one or two ways distracted. If you don't have a plan for social media, social media will actually have a plan for you. And you know, there are thousand and one ways um, they are going to distract you and there are, there are many of them. I don't want to mention names, but you know them. You can keep switching through them one after the other for a whole 24 hours without getting bored. And you're not going to achieve any substantial thing during your day if you don't plan. So the solution is this. You have to have times when you restrict yourself from going on social media. Times where you strictly adhere or stick to your books so that you are not distracted when you are not supposed to. During your times of study, you can set specific times where you will go on social media to check certain information or certain um, chats you really want to see so that it will serve as a reward for your learning. This is a better way of handling social media so that you are not distracted all day long. Now, the second form of distraction, which you can't do away with, are your peers. Although they are important, sometimes they can be a source of distraction. You know, it's easier to control our peers because they are more rational and they can understand when we ask them for space to study or learn or do our most important things. In order to get certain results, we need to intentionally take some decisions. I don't mean to say, do not go on social media at all or don't entertain your friends. No. Did you know the time you are spending with your studies and times when you would go on social media and spend with friends? Definitely the number of hours you spend with your books should be more than what you spend on social media and friends because you're not going to be tested on social media. You're not going to be tested on how you are relating with your friends. If you want to do well in your BEC, the time you give to your books should be more. And you know, as an individual, by this time, I believe you can think for yourself and know where you are heading towards. So you give much attention to what is needed because social media and friends are always there. But you know, the time where you, the time you have now to study your books in your junior high school to pass your BEC might not always be there. Time is precious, you know. Both the rich and the poor have the same amount of time. Now, this is my fourth point and it's very important. Do research. Now, at this level, when you hear research, what you think about is um, those who are scientists and they have a microscope trying to find an organism. That's what comes to mind when we say research. But research is more than that. You know, research is more of a discipline. And any student who wants to stand out should develop it. What a teacher gives you in class is not enough. That's the truth. What your master gives you in class is not enough. So at this point where you have a phone or you have the opportunity to have so have access to so much information even in a library every student has a teacher but not all students pass exam putting in extra effort and reading more by going the extra mile is like adding flesh to what your teacher gave you the ultimate research tool is resting in your hands staring at your face the benefits of your smart device far outweighs the disadvantages look up words read more books and do more. This will help you stand out and will transcend in your BEC. For example, you are told to read more. What does reading do to you? Reading helps you build expressions unconsciously and you realize that while you are writing your essay or your composition or you are explaining any point, the words you find or read in books unconsciously flow and then you write them easily. If you're a student who is always struggling with speaking and then writing of Composition or developing points. This is the this is one trick for you. Begin reading, read novels, read on subjects which are of interest. This will help you stand out. Now, my last and final point is set a target for yourself. Maybe you are thinking you are young. I don't think you are young. If you are if you have the ability to find this video, I don't think you are too young. Set a target for yourself. What grade do you want to get in your 
basic education certificate exam. The grade is not as important as the school you want to get. Just consider that school, knowing that you are not the only one who wants to land in that school. I don't think it's not a good school. Are the effort you are putting in your studies worth it? Do you think you need to put in more effort? Your output can never go beyond your input. If you sit up and follow your passion, if you really want to get a grade you have in mind and a, then a dream school you also have in mind, go for it. If you don't have a dream school yet, start asking questions. So these are the points you need to pass your BEC, which is a basic education certificate exams. So a little recap. The first one I said, focus on the basics. What you were taught at the initial stages, and I said the most important part of any new thing you are learning is the introduction. Once you get the intro, you are good to go. And the second point is I said, ask questions. Ask lots of questions. And I mentioned that asking questions makes the teacher say things he's not supposed to, you know, tell you at that point. And the third point was dealing with distractions. That's your social media and your friends. And I mentioned that you know what you want. So you would spend more time with your books other than spending time on social media and then friends. My fourth point was do research. I said research will help you to stand out. If you're a student who is always struggling with developing points, writing essays, this is for you. Do more reading, go on the internet, Google or search where you have problems in class and then find answers to them. And my last point was set targets. What grade do you want to get? What school do you want to go to? What do you want to be in life? Have that focus in mind and it will drive you to learn more, to get the best read and then do well in your BBC. And one last thing, don't just hear these words and be excited. Take action. That is the most important thing. Take action now. If you found this video helpful, I'll urge you to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified to be able to watch it. This is Prince. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I will urge you to like this video and comment in the comment section what new thing you have learned and what you are going to apply so that when others read it, they will be motivated to also take action.